Bill Della comes in to start play in the final quarter with Collingwood leading by 10 points. But North Melbourne had the scoring in. Knocked away by McCann's. Straight into the arms of Kevin Morris. Morris in turn back to Magro. Magro with uh, a high kick that stands up against the breeze at half back and Shaw takes a fine mark at uh, a little short of centre half forward. Shaw now wobbly kick in towards the full forward zone. Dana Stewart, Stewart, Hicks saying he was pushed in the back, but it's uh, not on, says the umpire, and Stewart has a chance to bring up a goal for Collingwood that would put them 16 points up. He's already kicked one. Craig Stewart from 35 metres out. I think he may have missed that run. We'll wait and see from the goal umpire. Yes, one point. And so that makes the difference here at Arden Street. 11 points. 11-13-79 Collingwood. North Melbourne 9-14-68 in seventh big league before a capacity crowd here at the Arden Street ground. It's going to be Dench. He'll go straight up the ground with the assistance of the breeze. Another beautiful kick. Oh, Baker got up very high but showed bad judgment and a fine mark taken by Pickin. Great mark, wasn't it? A magnificent mark from Pickin. Bill Pickin, two centre-half forward, knocked away by Dench again. Here's a go for Melrose, one of North Melbourne's best players. A short pass out onto the centre wing position, and Jimmel Bush takes a mark. A player that lifted his game immensely after half-time. He's tried to centre the ball over towards centre-half forward. Moore missed it, but backed up well by Magro. Magro in turn back in towards the centre. Morris got two hands to it, down by didn't play a mark. Burns first to recover towards right half-forward. The non-scoring pocket, actually, for North Melbourne, and big Peter Moore has uh, got plenty of time to steady here in front of Blight. Goes straight back up the centre of the ground. He's looking for a mark out there, and it should be taken for North Melbourne. Um, it was by Morris Boys, one of the best players for the Kangaroos today. Boys from centre-half forward. He's going to land in the 10-metre square. Dempsey, and he's got it. Gary Dempsey will be on a very acute angle, though. But he has a chance to bring North Melbourne six points closer. This would put them only five points down if he can kick this. He was rested in defence in the third term. He shoots for goal, and it looks pretty good from here. Yes, sir, the difference is five points. North Melbourne, 10, 14, 74. Collins, uh, not getting out as to see the ball pushed away that time by Byrne. Grabbed here by Olsen. A hurried kick out wide, and a good mark taken here by Derek Shaw. There's a bit of fancy work there by Shaw. Getting the ball up there towards the full forward zone. At the back there is Davis. Oh, good mark to Dench. Outmanoeuvred incompletely that time. Ball falls short. A mark here to McCann, who's played a very good third quarter. Plenty of North Melbourne players loose. As we see Alps get it, he might go up. A beautiful hand pass. Looking for Schimmelbus. He's having trouble picking it up. He's grabbed. And it's out of bounds. Schimmer was a bit slow. Schimmer had a bad first half, but played recently well in the third quarter and was an instigator in a couple of goals. The ball grabbed by Big Moore. He's off. He tries to get a hand pass. Smothered nicely by McCann. Quickly becoming one of North Melbourne's very best players at the moment. He's pretty mobile. I'll say he's moving around well. Knocked out again. Bill Valley fumbled the ball. It comes back between his legs. There's a stack up here, and the umpire will ball it up on the centre wing position. And we see Collingwood five points in front. 11 13 79, a North 10 14 74. Three and a half minutes gone of the last quarter. McCann gets a tap down to burn, but he's slung to the ground. Umpire said, hold the ball against him. Free kick going there to uh, Olsen, the ex-Carlton player. Been a bit strange today, hasn't really fitted in yet, but that's understandable, his first game with the Magpies. Oh, flying is a free kick there to uh, Derek Shaw against uh, Sutton for interference, and he's got a chance now to put this up to Craig Davis, who's kicked three goals for Collingwood so far. But Dench has got a close look on him, a short pass. Over it goes, and Wool now takes the mark here, about uh, 45 metres out from goal, dead in front, and the Magpies badly need a goal at the moment. They're only leading by five points at the four-minute mark. All those kicks, does it cover the distance okay? Pushed to the ground now. Picked up here by uh, North Melbourne's law. Over goes a hand pass. And we see them get the ball away three. Uber punched away wide uh, that time by Collingwood. Back it goes. There's a go now for uh, Byrne to get out. He struggles pretty hard. Byrne of North Melbourne picks it up now. Ball it goes back to Stan Owls. Out there at half back. He's doing a bit of weaving and dodging. A beautiful play by Stan Owls. He gets the ball out. There's Magro going after it. He's hard to beat, Stan Magro, the man. He gets it out now and takes the mark there at half back. Always turns in a good game, Magro. This time he's gone up towards the centre looking for Kink. He almost got offloaded by Sutton, but he's got the run of the ball now. If he can just pick it up. And Kink, hotly pursued by Nettlefold. He's got no one to give it to. 
he eventually goes down towards uh, Wearmouth, but Ramsey is uh, there to take the mark. He gives it in turn over to Melrose, one of North Melbourne's best players. Melrose up to half forward. Ball fisted away from everybody, out towards Nettlefold again, who's followed the play down well. Nettlefold from a long way out, could almost score. It's in towards the 10 metre square. Dempsey tried a one-hander. He'll suck it off the ground and puts it through for a goal. North are in front. Dempsey's second goal. North Melbourne leading by one point. The scores on 7th Big League. Collingwood, 11-13, 79. North Melbourne, 12-14, 80. Point the difference. That was great play and good anticipation too, Peter. You picked that up nicely. Waiting now for the ball to come back to centre field. It'll be Big Moore against, Mc, uh, against uh, McCann, who's doing very well on the ruck for North Melbourne. Dempsey's a danger player. They've got Dempsey and Blythe there. There's a nice headache for the Collingwood defenders. Two of the highest players in the business. Back it goes now. Knocked out by Moore. Not a good knockout. There's Burnover along the ball. Picked up by North Melbourne's Law. Well, there's a go now for North Melbourne. We see Easton get it out to Ash. Uh, Tassin has a shot for goal, but as it coming around, it's a post. Collingwood uh, trailing by two points now. North Melbourne 11 uh, 15 81 to Collingwood 11 13 79. Six and a half minutes gone of this quarter. North Melbourne kicking with the breeze this quarter, and the odds are against the Magpies. Didn't score well enough in the third quarter when they had this very strong breeze in their favour. Ball back into play again. Pushed out by Moore to Wearmouth. has been a pretty quiet player. It's a bad kick by Wearmouth. Oh, Wearmouth. Uh, Walno got it out, but uh, he gets a free kick. He's had a pretty tough day today against Boyce, as Peter said before, one of the best players on the ground. Back it goes to Davis and Dench. And Dench gets his hands to it. There's the chance now for Renee Kick. He was grabbed. The umpire said, drop him. Oh, oh, he even touched got the it joking. And Dench takes the free kick. Stan out, scouting it well. Takes it on the half-back run, a short pass. And Byrne takes the mark, even though he got uh, his head nearly pulled off that time by Olsen. Looking for a bit of a lead. He's can't make up his mind what to do with it. Wear mouth off and white on. Or back again. There's a chance for Cass in the mark. He doesn't mess about it. Takes a good mark down there on the half fourth on about 50 metres out from goal. The wind died down considerably this quarter as we see a short pass. Off the top of the pack. Stan Magro with a chance to get it. He does. Boots it back, but there's no one there. McCann can take an easy mark. And by golly, Pete, he's developing one of the best player on the ground, this fella. That's right. A very fast big man. He almost got his head pulled off there, but got his kick in nevertheless down towards the full forward zone. Knocked away by Byrne. Stacks on the mill there. And it will be a ball up, says the umpire, with North Melbourne. Although they only lead by a couple of points, playing much the better. And that's the important thing at this end of the match. The ball up, favouring Dempsey, who taps the ball out. A snapshot for goal by Blight was offline. In fact, it's out towards the boundary line. Woolner should be able to pick it up. Who's he giving it to? He's gone right around the boundary line, looking for somebody out there. It's in the no-man's land, actually. Not a soul there for Collingwood, that's for sure. A little bit late arriving on the scene. White gets tripped, and he'll be the recipient of the free kick. Umpire Della calls play on. White towards right half forward for the Magpies. It's all North Melbourne, though. Sutton and Ramsey. Here's the Hulk, Renee Kink, who hasn't done much since the first quarter. That's Kevin Morris with the ball, and he has lost it. It's out of bounds, but It's going to be a boundary throw-in. Collingwood in attack. They trail by two points. And they're kicking against this breeze, which has uh, died down quite considerably, I'd say. There's Ebert. He's been a pretty quiet player. He's been off the ground a lot of the time, though. He's now gone for a long hand pass. That's effective. He's found out there uh, Bryant. Bryant's kick is up towards the half-forward line now for North Melbourne. Uh, Blight a long way up from goal. Cleverly eludes two players. You'll have to kick it now. Lines him up from 30 metres out, and it's through for another one. Putting him where the action is. That's where he should have played for the... Uh entire part of his football career. There's Netterfold getting it out now, and Collingwood standing by looking as Melrose, one of the best players for North Melbourne, two drives it up there towards Gary Dempsey. Couldn't mark that one, and the crowd roar as he goes for the mark, but it's through for one point. And now North Melbourne go to 12-16-88. Uh, a lead of nine points over Collingwood, 11-13-79, and we've played ten minutes of this last quarter. Things not looking too good for the Magpies at the moment. Ball out there to that half-back flag on the outer side. Boyce flying high, couldn't hold the mark. There's a go now for Easton, a high hand pass. Ball pushed away that time by Law, uh, uh, by Byrne. Pushed out again by Collingwood, but uh, it coming along, playing the ball in front. It's playing with plenty of aggression, North Melbourne. Hand pass over to Melrose, a running shot for goal, and what's the result? It looks pretty good for me, it's a goal! And North Melbourne streaking away from the Magpies, 13-16. That 
it's uh, 94 points, a 15 point lead over Collins, 11 13, 79 at the 10 and a half minute mark of this uh, last quarter. And of course, this is the pattern of North Melbourne's play now. There's uh, ready to come on the ground, Austin. There's a couple I could pull off for Collins, but I'm not getting beat. Well, Austin, I would say, would go into the finch, wouldn't he? Or maybe they're going to try him in the ruck to bowl for that division because Collins would have been beaten in quite a few positions at the moment. Moore, he's tried hard all day for Collingwood. It comes out to Melrose again, the danger player for the North Melbourne side. His pass up towards Malcolm Flight. Flight's got the ball in front of him, hotly pursued by McCormack. He's held it for a week and a half. And what's the decision? Free kick to McCormack, I think. I would say so. It's a good tackle, even though Flight has kicked, uh, how many has he got now? Six or seven? Six goals. McCormack has played very well down there. Mind you, Blight is in great form at the moment. Stewart off and uh, Austin on. Ball punched away by McCann, away from Moore, but it goes to Ebert. Ebert goes for a hand pass and turn over to a teammate. Was that Melrose? He gets caught with the ball, and it's going to be a Collingwood free kick to be taken for them by Stan Magro, who hasn't put a foot wrong all day, I might add. Played a great game, Magro. He's looking for Manassa out there in the centre. Manassa takes the mark over to Woolno. Woolno, a short pass out towards right half forward. Bryant pushed uh, Shaw away from the ball. First to get to it as a result. Bryant, he's gone for a short pass over to David Dench. Dench won't go for one of his long runs, but it's a good clearing kick anyway, and he finds Russell Ebert in front of Austin. Ebert a little short of half back. Moore knocked away. Here's Melrose. More danger for Collingwood if he picks the ball up. He can't quite do so on this occasion. He's got plenty of opposition. Finally, it's picking from half back. His kick dropping a little bit short, and Ebert takes yet another mark. He's got a knee in the back for his corner there. He hasn't gone over the mark. He was thinking about playing on, and Russell Ebert pass effective Melrose takes yet another one he's got to be best on the ground for mine Lou I'll get your I'll thoughts say. in just a moment but uh, he's played a great game Melrose a short pass but it's a bad one finds another interstater in Valley Valley in turn towards left half forward but McCann's there for North Melbourne he's played another good game for them too he's got it back to Ebert Ebert in turn over towards David Dench who's a mile up from goal and uh, showing a little bit of displeasure at the treatment meted out then by Valley. In towards half forward goes Dench. Schimmelbush, a chance for North here, but he can't pick the ball up. Socket away from him, out towards Woolno. White racing up after the ball was burned. It's a very scrambly piece of play out there. Nobody can really pick it up. Casson got one, copped one for his corner. Went down like a sack of spuds, and it's going to be a free kick to North Melbourne. It won't be taken by Casson, will it? No, I think it's Casson to get the... Fr uh, it's Casson yes, it to is, get, yep. I think, Stan. The man was the problem there. The ball dropped short. Down they go. McCormick went down. The, the, we see Schimmel was trying to get through the pack. He's grabbed, but gets a wild kick. Actually kicked his own mate in the stomach that time. Ball comes down to Blight, who's already kicked six goals. A hand pass out to Burn. A long shot for goal. Up there towards Dempsey. There's a go now for East. If he can pick it up here, Dempsey are messing about. Umpire still calling play. And as they scrimmage there in front of goal, and they're going to ball it up. 13 minutes gone. North Melbourne, 84 points. 15 points, 94 points. 15 points in front of Collingwood, 79. Dempsey tried to grab that. Picked up on the uh, edge of the line that time by Wordens, and the kick, it falls a bit short. There's Byrne, he's dropped it. Umpire said, hold the man. Free kick will go there to White. And a 15-metre penalty, and Collingwood certainly need a few of those because their forward line at the moment is hopeless. The ball across there to centre field. There'll be a free kick in the middle to Collingwood because he was knocked up. He kicks the ball that time wide. It's Morris to take the kick. Out it goes to Shaw. Not a very good hand pass, but he picks it up on the first top. It's a bad pass. And a good mark taken here by David Dench, who's well on top of Davis at the moment. Davis started all right, kicking three goals. There's Billy Netapol moving around all over the place. He's picked up quite a few kicks. Out for Gasson. They're all over the place, North Melbourne. Back to Ebert. And the ball is up to that uh, full forward zone. Out comes Dempsey now. Will it bounce OK? Picked up nicely by Moore. Hooks it back. And a mark taken here by Billy Pickin, a little shorter centre-half back. 15-metre penalty against Easton. I think almost intentional. Well, it lets everyone else pick their players up there right. on the field. The ball back over the centre-half forward, but no one there for Collingwood. Three North Melbourne players. How was that? And the free kick will go to North. They quickly play on a McCann again from that hand pass. Stall North Melbourne. Collingwood players falling asleep. Their forward line is hopeless. The ball goes up to East. He takes the mark there about... 65 metres out from goal. Here's Melrose, the star player of the match. Fine for the goals now, but he's up. To Easton. Easton. I think he's got me the trick. It was Ebert. I mean, I, mean I thought it was Melrose. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, there's uh, Melrose now, but he is the star player of the match. He's coming off the ground now, but I think I'll give him a rest because his leg must be sore. 
Okay, the ball back into play again now. As we see Worthington take that one. Oh, it's a bad hand pass. It will put uh, Woolmo under plenty of pressure. Another hand pass back here now to uh, Russell Olsen, who drives the ball back out towards the wing position. Rene Kink, who's been quiet since the first quarter. Huppert goes there to the full forward zone. No one there to take a mark for Collingwood. But they're standing there watching. And this is no good when you're playing North Melbourne. A good mark to David Dench. It's all north of the Melbourne for, uh, North Melbourne for the moment. The 16-minute mark. Dench's long hand pass was almost as good as a kick. Byrne got caught with the ball by uh, Ramsey. It's Ramsey's free kick right in front of the North Melbourne stand. And the Kangaroo fans are pretty happy at the moment with the way the game is going. There's McCann, as Lou mentioned, very close to being best on the ground. And a fine mark taken by Easton, this time at centre-half forward. It's all North Melbourne. And Collingwood just standing around. Short pass in towards Schimmelbush. They could have rattled that. Schimmelbush had the sit. But coming in from behind, let's see who did take it eventually. It's uh, Blight. Malcolm Blight. And he's already kicked six goals, a chance for number seven, which would make his tally for the season so far 22 goals in three games. That's not a bad effort, is it? And he must be already favourite for the Brownlow medal. Judging by the form here today, he's going to be hard to beat. Malcolm Blight from 30 metres out. The win right behind him. Blight shoots for goal. The goal umpire has not moved. It must be a goal. It is. North Melbourne go further in front. Collingwood, 11-13, 79. Trail North Melbourne, 14, 17, 101. Tons of uh, energy left in their legs, I would say, in this last quarter. Kicking with the breeze would certainly help, but I think the breeze has died down a little bit since the start of this game, when it was blowing a gale. There's McCann, still playing very well on the ruck. A nice tap out to Byrne. Then it goes over to Bond, the ex-Collingwood player, driving it one up towards the full post. Blight getting up high. Back it goes to Easton. Back it comes again now towards Dempsey. Can he grab it? He'll give it a blight here, I reckon. He tried to kick that in the way. He's got it now. He's got yet about 14 goes at that. They got a talk about opportunity knocking much. It's not 14 times. It's a new wait yet, Gary, and he finally got it through. Uh, that, that, that makes North Melbourne a pretty strong side up forward, uh, Pete, because if uh, Blight doesn't grab the mark, you've always got Gary Dempsey. This is the way Dempsey should, should have been played all his life in attack like that. Well, Barassi used him in defence in the third quarter, Lou, when they were kicking against the breeze, I noticed. But when you're attacking, you're putting where the oh, action yeah. is. That's what he's doing. He's, he's made a difference. There's the, uh... Well, North Melbourne so far this quarter have kicked six goals and they're running away with it. Collingwood, on the other hand, have uh, actually yet to score a goal. They've only scored one point by my stats. And... Uh, a statistician Mike Ringham agrees with those. So it certainly hasn't been a Collingwood quarter. And Tommy Hafey, I'm sure, would be very disappointed with the way his side has finished off the match, if you can say finishing off the match, kicking only one point in uh, 18 minutes of football. So another new ball, it looks like, or is it the old one being brought back? It did come back eventually. So North Melbourne can be very pleased with their performance, uh, at least in this quarter. And as they did against Footscray last week, they came away in the dying few minutes. But we still have about 10 minutes to go, I would reckon. It's Moore and McCann. McCann got that one out. Here's a chance for Bond, but he gets sandwiched in between two players. It's pretty hectic down there. And uh, Olsen having words with Bond. It's going to be Olsen's free kick. And he'll take it at centre-half back. The former Carlton player, he eludes Easton. Goes towards, uh, or straight down the ground, actually. It's all North Melbourne. And the mark brought down by Sutton. That was a beauty. And the wind springs up again just to add to Collingwood's problems. He's got on top of uh, Rene Kink since the first he, quarter, Pete, hasn't he? He has, Lou. And McCann has fired too, be it in ruck, half forward or half back. Blight having to knock that one away from McCormack, who picks it up on the second grab. His hand pass taken by Olsen. Olsen in turn over towards Kevin Morris from the uh, left half back flank. Morris in turn towards half back. And Austin takes a good mark for Collingwood, one of the few that they have taken on their forward line this quarter. They've been hopeless up forward so far. Austin towards right half forward. The ball knocked away from Davis by uh, Dench. Kinks in there. Got no one to give it to. Now he sees Ray Shaw. Shaw fires at the goal from 35 metres out and has put it through for a goal. That's Collingwood's first for the quarter and a badly needed one. North Melbourne, 15-17, 107. Collingwood, 12-13, 85. Well, that may have been the tonic they want, but at the moment, they're not playing very well at all. Particularly their forward line, they're struggling. No one can seem to take a mark there, but you've got to give a bit of credit to the, uh, the North Melbourne defence too, because they've played close, particularly Dench and Ramsey down there. Austin's going to fall back on... Uh, on uh, Dempsey, we'll end up with, uh, we'll with Dempsey's playing full quarter of the forward pocket, but Dempsey and Blight are certainly form a great uh, attack down there. There's a uh, ball knocked out by Moore. Chance there for, oh, he missed that that time, Worthington, and finally taken away by North. Down towards centre half forward. Oh, there's Casson going through. He's grabbed, he's thrown to the ground. He said he's grabbed too high, and the free kick will go to Casson. 
Collingwood's White's not too happy about that. But if you go after the ball, you've got more chance of getting a free kick than standing there looking at them, hoping they'll make a mistake. Ball kicked up there by Cass, and up there to the two danger plays. This is a goal, not a bad sort of a kick. At the 21 minute mark, that's Cassin's first goal, and of course they go to uh, 16 goals, 17, 113 North Melbourne to Collingwood, 12, 13, 85. And of course the uh, North Melbourne boys are giving Collingwood a football lesson after the Magpies put up a pretty good show for three quarters. That's seven goals to North Melbourne this quarter, and we've certainly driven the nail right into Collingwood's coffin. The Magpies a very disappointing effort with only one goal. But uh, that was very quickly answered, Lou, wasn't it? Also, that's the way, the, that's how a good side performs too. Back to the centre. They've got some star material in this team. I'll tell you that now. They're going to take a lot of rolling for the flag this year. Knocked out by Moore. But there we see Wordsman trying to get a hand pass to Burnham. He's going to his own teammate. Then over to Morrison. Collingwood going to attack. Morrison's going to have a running shot for goal. What's the result? Will it make the distance? Won't come around enough for through for one point. The Magpies go to 12-14, 86. To North Melbourne. Well in front, 16-17, 113. I think the writing was on the wall at three-quarter time when the Magpies could only manage two goals in that, uh, in that third quarter because they were kicking with the breeze and North Melbourne got four actually for the quarter. The ball coming out now. Oh, smothered well from Netterfall. Shaw going up. Got one on the back. Umpire said Plata. Shaw gets it out to Kenk. He better kick it. He's down. Umpire still calling play on it. Can't get clear. They're attacking pretty hard, North Melbourne. That defence. Ramsey gets a hand pass over to Sutton. Back it goes to Dench, picks it up nicely with one hand. Over to Well, the 70 North Melbourne plays. They feel as though they've got about 3,000 players out there. Round it goes to Shimmerbush. On the boundary line, he's got the run of the ball here. Going out now is uh, Billy Pickett. Missed him by about three inches that time. A short pass. And a mark to burn. And North Melbourne are away again for another goal coming up, I would say. Yes, sir. A goal to North Melbourne. They moved that ball right around the ground, Lou, from the full back. Right from the back pocket on the opposite side of the ground. North Melbourne now go to 17 goals, 17, 119. Now starting to give Max, the Magpies a football lesson. 12 goals, 14, 86 at the 23 and a half minute mark of this last quarter. 119 plays 86 as we enter the time on period. Well, in fact, almost. It's about 24 and a half minutes gone of the final quarter. Collingwood in all sorts of trouble. Moore knocking the ball well forward, but straight to Stevenick. He kicked it back twice as far, up towards the white half forward flank for North Melbourne it goes. Here's a battle royal out here, picked up by Schimmelbush. He's a little bit faster than uh, Andrew Island on that occasion. In towards Blight and McCormack. And McCormack cleverly got it away from him. Easton goes down, picked up by McCormack. And he'll relieve the pressure for Collingwood momentarily. Towards the centre wing, his kick uh, is directed. Even from behind, snatches it away from Kevin Morris for a fine mark. Ebert. Goes towards centre half forward, Blight and McCormack. Blight first to recover, knocked away by Easton. Back towards Woolno. Danger here for Collingwood though. Still in the thick of things down there. It'll be rushed through. No, uh, Woolno still. He must be uh, very close to the goal line. And popped through for North Melbourne by Bond, is it? Yep. Another goal. Uh, Boyce, Boyce. Boyce, was it? Oh, he has kicked uh, his first goal for the day, and North Melbourne are running right away with this match. 18 goals, 17, that makes 125 points, leading Collingwood 12-14, 86. North Melbourne this quarter have kicked nine goals, nine goals three, and they'd only kicked nine goals up until three-quarter time, so a great effort by the Kangaroos in the closing stages of this match. Approaching the 26-minute mark of the last quarter, and you can put down your glasses as far as uh, Collingwood are concerned because they're out of the picture completely. The ball goes down there, and a free kick will go to Moore. Collingwood uh, struggling now. North Melbourne putting up a brilliant performance in this last quarter. Every player coming to the fore, and of course, that's the sign of a real champion side. Renee Kink couldn't hold that one. Down it goes to Worthman, and punches it out, but there's Ramsey going after it. Kink gets it out to the wrong man. It's finally picked up this time by uh, Ick as it goes out wide to the wing position. Going after is Andrew Island. The ball beats him, and it's over the line and out of bounds. It's a marvellous thing with Renee Kink, Pete, you know. He plays against Peter Knights, the best centre-half back in the biz. He's the best player on the ground just about last week. He's playing against Sutton, who's not a bad player, but not as good as uh, Knights, and he's been eclipsed by Sutton. He's right out of business. Well, it seems to be his way. The, the worse the player he plays on, the better, the worse he goes. The ball back now to Boyce, who's been a great player. Down towards Dempsey and Austin. They're having a great battle. Austin gets a hand pass out. Not long enough, really, and uh, White's under plenty of pressure there as he tries to get it out. And the umpire set a free kick to White. 
against his ex-teammate Bond out there on the back pocket. A hand pass to Stan Magro, who'd be Collingwood's best player by a mile. He, he keeps on going, doesn't matter what the odds are against him. Rene Kink gets away this time from Sutton, but he's in trouble. Gets a hand pass over to Shaw. Back to Rene Kink again. But it's after the ball because they're a mile behind Collingwood. The ball down there, a chance for Dench to mark. Oh, he's got the mark, Dench, I'd say. No, I'll give it the other way. I think he'll pay the Dench. I thought that was sure, as I must admit, Louis. There's Dench taking... No, he's going to give it the mark, so he's going to call it back. What's he going to make him kick over his mark? That's strange. Well, I think because he stopped playing it, you, you know, you've got to go back to square one. So Dench has got it now. Hand pass coming out to, uh, to Byrne. Byrne's got a chance uh, to get clear here. He's got plenty of time to do with it. The Collingwood players have stopped to a walk at the 27 and a half minute mark. Al, back it goes to Bright. Back it goes to Byrne again. They're doing as they like now, North Melbourne. Up it goes now to McCormack. He takes the mark. This kid's been put under tremendous pressure playing against Blight down there and also Dempsey popping up beside him. And he's done a pretty good job too for Miley. Well, even though the other bloke's kicked, uh, what, seven goals. Isn't he, uh, Dempsey, uh, Blight? Oh, there's a beautiful mark to Ebert. It was a very quiet play of the first half, but that is a beautiful film. That's an indication just how well he can play, even though he's a South Australian. Ebert from the centre wing position. Magro again. Magro goes for a pass. He's looking for Byrne, who takes it. At left half back, Ray Byrne's kick is not a particularly long one. And twisted away again. In fact, the ball is over the line and out of bounds. It'll be thrown back into play in front of the players in the change area with North Melbourne leading 18-17, 125. Collingwood 12-14, 86. It's North Melbourne finishing certainly with a wet sail here this afternoon. Ruxiel's knocked away by Moore. Is a chance for Collingwood now as Ireland steams through and picks up the ball well towards centre half forward. Ramsey's underneath. The ball knocked away, fisted away again by Law. Back in towards the centre of the ground. Valley grabs it, gives it over to Kevin Morris who fumbles. Now he's got clear. Morris drives Collingwood deep into attack now up towards full forward. And it's, uh, is that a mark or is it over the line? It's a mark to uh, Shaw in front of Bryant. It's not a score, so he has a chance to bring up a Collingwood goal. And certainly they need it even to add some respectability to their score as the crowd starting to leave the Arden Street Oval. Sensing a North Melbourne victory. I think he's hit the post. He has. We've had quite a few of those today. So a point to Collingwood when they badly needed a goal. It's 18-7.